AI entered our daily lives big time in 2023. From ChatGPT to Midjourney, there are many useful apps. Yet, fears about misinformation and losing control are growing too. Let's take a look at the highs and lows of AI in 2023. The year of ChatGPT. If this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. AI Pictures The AI craze kicked off in late 2022 already with image generators like Dolly and Midjourney. Suddenly, you could create any image by just describing it. In 2023, we've seen people make movies with AI-generated images. And an AI picture even snagged a photography award without the jury noticing. AI portrait apps like Remini went viral for turning selfies into professional headshots for CVs. Check out my colleague Roger. Would you hire him based on his AI photo? However, those apps also stirred controversy for generating sexist and Eurocentric pictures. Remember Lenser, the app that generates portraits of you as an astronaut, rock star or superhero. Testing it with my colleagues Roger and Adriana revealed some very different results. While Roger got very manly versions of himself, Adriana, who's from Colombia, got pictures with whiter skin, blue eyes, and in a lot of them she wore revealing clothes. Even though that was not the case in any of the selfies she uploaded. Aside from that, deepfake images made with AI are a cause for concern. Remember these AI-generated pictures of Donald Trump being arrested by police? Images like that have the potential to manipulate us users and stir political camps. Last but not least, many artists weren't happy with image generators. Artworks they put online are used to train the AI models without their consent. Until now, copyright questions regarding AI images remain unanswered. Let's shift gears. ChatGPT Boom ChatGPT, released in November 2022, skyrocketed to 100 million monthly users by January 2023. The app briefly held the record for the fastest growing consumer app. Microsoft invested big in OpenAI, the makers of ChatGPT. They combined the chatbot with their search engine Bing to give us Bing Chat. Now, many people routinely use these and other chatbots for writing emails, coding and research, for example. In Brazil, even a law went into effect that was written by ChatGPT. But AI chatbots have been criticized for sometimes giving outright false answers, a phenomenon known as hallucination. This way, they are potentially spreading fake news. And a lot of people were concerned about feeding their personal data to the models leading to ChatGPT being banned for some time in Italy. Another game changer in 2023, AI audio. With synthetic audio, cloned voices and creative thinking, some hilarious videos were created that made us laugh. And tools like Spotify's voice cloning aim to empower podcasters. By cloning their voice in different languages, they are now able to reach people that would otherwise never find them. But cloned voices also led to deep fakes, like the track Heart on My Sleeve, with cloned voices of singers Drake and The Weeknd. Their label Universal Music Group was anything but happy about it, invoked copyright violations and had the track taken down. Also, fake AI audios of politicians are already being used in election campaigns worldwide. So, is it justified to get AI anxiety? In March 2023, more than 25,000 people, among them leading AI experts, signed a letter calling for a pause in AI development. Their fear? Super intelligent AI surpassing humans and taking over the world. Critics say this doomsday talk is meant to distract from AI's real problems like the ones we mentioned. That's why calls for regulation have grown louder in 2023. US President Joe Biden, for example, signed an executive order that aims to implement universal AI standards. The UN created an AI council to come up with global guidelines. And the EU is in the process of passing the AI Act. Nothing seems to stop the AI hype. Not even the recent turmoil at OpenAI. To sum that one up, 
they fired their CEO Sam Altman for allegedly lying to the board only to hire him back after Microsoft offered him a job. So let's see what 2024 has in store for us.